Okay, let's get more now from our legal team. Nancy Grace, who's been covering the trial for her show on HLN, and our own GMA legal analyst, Dan Abrams. Welcome to you both. And Nancy, i got to begin with you, because you reported on your show last night that Jody may have been willing earlier to plead to a lesser charge. Well, as a matter of fact, she wanted to plead to a lesser charge. Uh, what we learned from the defense memoranda was that a couple of years ago, she actually approached the state and wanted to plead guilty to a second degree murder charge that carries a penalty of up to 25 years. There's two ways to show it. Number one, extreme indifference to human life like drag racing at a pre-K and the other is killing without premeditation. They actually wanted to plead to that, but the prosecutor said no way that it wasn't enough time for Jody Arias. You surprised at that? Um, I'm not surprised that Jody Arias wanted a second degree murder conviction. I mean, that's really the goal here as far as I'm concerned. When you look at the amount of evidence here and her own statements, of course she wants a second degree murder conviction. I don't think her lawyer, I don't think Jody Arias expects that there's a real shot she's going to walk away with an acquittal here. So a second degree murder uh, conviction or a plea would have been a big win for Jody Arias. I'm not surprised prosecutors said no. So as, as, as they begin to mount this defense today, what is their, uh, their best strategy going forward? Uh, for the defense, I, look, I think they have to call Jody Arias. I mean, on the one hand, by calling Jody Arias, you are increasing the chances that she could get a lesser uh, conviction, and you are also increasing the chances she gets the death penalty. Because the other option is don't have her testify, wait till the penalty phase, put her on at that point, and beg for her life. That basically presumes you're going to get uh, a first-degree murder conviction, and then you're going to try and save her life. If she takes the stand now, bigger gamble. Maybe there's the chance that the jurors connect to her, or a juror connects to her in some way, shape, or form, but the possibility that she could get the death penalty. And that's the, the point, Nancy. All she has to do is to get one juror to connect with her in some way, right? Well, that's all she's got to do, and the defense is betting on that with the battered women defense theory, which I believe is totally unfounded, they plan to bring on an expert named Elise Violette, who the title of one of her speeches is, was Sleeping Beauty, excuse me, Snow White, a battered woman. Now, that's really hard for me to take that seriously, but what I think we're glossing over here, and you're just analyzing it, you know, like it's a spectator sport, it's not. There's a dead man, 29 stabs, uh, and a, a, a gunshot to the head. But what is disturbing to me is this woman was prepared to swear under oath on the Bible that she murdered him. And now she wants to plead self-defense. Now, it may be a game to everybody else what they put in front of a jury, but I take it very seriously. And if yesterday she was ready to say, I did it, show leniency, I murdered him, and today she wants me to buy a crop called self-defense, that disturbs well, look, me. This is, this is not a great example, but it is certainly possible that in another case, someone could believe the chances of them getting convicted are so high that they don't want to take the chance of going to trial, and they're willing to take a second-degree murder conviction, even if they believe that it was second uh, self-defense. In this particular case, that's not yeah, a great you're argument. Right. right? To them, it's just a crapshoot. It's, but it's a not gamble. About it. They're like in Vegas. They well, don't care well, about the truth. Well, Nancy, but you I know what? do Pro care about yeah, the truth. Except prosecutors every day make decisions based on gambles, which is, is it worth taking this case to trial? Are we willing to take a plea to avoid going to trial, et cetera? Those are gambles that prosecutors take every day. Okay, we got to end you know, it right Dan, um, when I look back on prosecuting, I always tried to do the right thing. And when I was at that jailhouse yesterday, I ran into so many women as I was walking the halls that she has convinced acted in self-defense. I'm afraid it's going to work on the jury. Okay, well, we will see what happens. Thank you both very much. I'm sure we'll have so The last thing back. I'm sure that Jody Arias wanted is Nancy Grace at the jail. <laughs> I'm sure that's yeah. right.